Okay, so in this problem, they tell us that a tree 24 feet tall cast a shadow of 16 feet long. At the same time, a man 6 feet tall cast a shadow X feet long. What is the length of the man's shadow? Okay, so we'll, we'll break this in pieces. First, let's draw this tree. So we have a, a tree here, and it's leaning a little bit. I'll try to make this a, a vertical tree. One more try. A little bit better. Okay, so here's our tree. I might give it some branches or whatever. Now this tree we know is 24 feet tall and it cast a shadow. So here's the shadow. 16 feet long, so the shadow is shorter than the tree. So that's our shadow. Okay, and that's 16 feet long. That's our shadow. And the tree itself, this distance right here from top to bottom, right, is 24 feet. That's the height of the tree. We're out of room there, but I'll, I'll write that. Now, if you look at this, this is assuming, of course, and this is that the surface is flat enough where the sun, right, if it casts a shadow, right, over here, if there's a guy standing, we're assuming they're standing close enough so the Earth's curvature doesn't throw this off at all. Oops. The man, let's say, is standing right here. This man is six feet tall, right? We want to know well, how long is his shadow. Okay. Well, assuming that the, the Earth is at the same level here, both parts, we'll assume that my drawing actually fits that description. Let me choose a different color there. Sorry about that. So here's the Earth or whatever. And they're kind of staying at the same height. Okay, so the sun is casting a shadow. And, and this allows us to do what? Well, it allows us to draw right triangles, right? We're assuming the tree is standing vertically here so that we can look at this relationship. I think we're, we, I, don't know if, I don't know if we have to assume that's vertical, but I will. And here, this man over here, right? Uh, a second almost right triangle. Now you can ask all kinds of questions about this, but I guess what we're assuming is that they're similar triangles, right? Meaning that if this man is standing at a 90 degree angle to the ground, and so is this tree, he's at a 90 degree angle to the ground, and we know that, based on how the sun shines here, that the distance of the shadows should be proportional, right? What you can say is that these two similar triangles, that this leg, the height of the man, corresponds to the height of the tree. And that the shadow then should correspond to the, the length of this shadow of the tree, the man's shadow and the tree's shadow. And all you have to do is compare those distances, right? Because these are similar triangles, being formed, uh, the shadows are being formed by the same sun on the same level, and so the corresponding sides can be compared. So we can say, okay, well, the man's height is 6, and the tree's height is 24. Okay. Well, then what will the man's shadow be if we know that the, height of the, the, the length of the shadow of the tree is 16? So I can then kind of reduce this proportion, 6 over 24. Well, that's just 1 fourth, right? 6 goes into 24 four times. And then we have x over 16. To solve this, I would multiply both sides by 16. And then things work out really nicely because 16 divided by 16 is 1. And the shadow on the man should be 16 times 1 fourth, which is just 4, right? So here the answer would be 4. And that makes sense. His shadow should be shorter than his height. And you could have looked at it that way. You could say, well, you know, what is the length of 16 in comparison to, to, tw to 24? Well, 16 is 2 thirds of 24, just as 4 is 2 thirds of, of 6. And that's essentially, we can set up a different proportion saying 16 over 24 equals, right, equals 1 over 6. A similar proportion, it'll, it'll give you the same answer. And reduce these two and we get that x is equal to 4 because 16 over 24 equals 4 with, over 6. Right? They're both 2 thirds. Just equivalent fractions written in different ways. So there are many ways to solve this, but you have to assume that in these shadow problems that you know, the angle of the sun and then the way it's hitting whatever objects you're looking at are creating similar shapes or similar triangles to work with. All right, hope this helped.